I recently picked up this Marlin Spike knife. Of course, it's a knife and also a Marlin Spike. And then the thumb release has a bottle opener feature. There's a couple things I don't like about this knife, but we only complain about the things we can change, and so I'm gonna change those things. One is it's difficult to open with one hand. Ooh, you see, as I'm pushing it open, I'm almost pushing my thumb into the blade. I don't like doing that. This is a knife I've carried forever. It's a Gerber Paraframe, and it does have a thumb stud, so I can open it up safely. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to add one right here. The other thing I'm gonna change is that there's no clip. Now I like for a knife to have a clip so I can just reach it out of my back pocket. This one doesn't really have a place for it, but we're gonna modify it so it works out. And then there's one more thing. This Marlin Spike open and closes like a bear trap. When you fold it down. Ouch, golly. Mm. So we're gonna see if we can loosen that spring up so it's not so crazy. Instead of pulling this apart, this is pinned in place by these two pins, I'm just gonna overstretch it right here. And hopefully that works. I got these titanium thumb studs off of Amazon. So now I just need to make a hole in the blade that is this diameter right here. 0 0.152, 0 0.153. All right, let's consult our drawer of drill bits. Put one, three, four, one, three, five. Let's give this one a try. And the plan is to place this thumb stud right where that registered trademark is at. Right there. Well, that didn't work. I could heat this up and retemper the steel. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring out the big guns. While we're filling this up, we're gonna work on the clip. And the idea is we're gonna take some of this spring wire, we'll pick a gauge that works out well, and then we'll form it into this handle. And that should work. But now our water jet is filled up, and so what we're gonna do is take our blade, we're gonna place it right on the edge of a pre-cut hole, and then we'll take our clamp, and we'll hold it in place so that we can use our jet to cut a hole right there. I'd say that turned out pretty well. I only added one thousandth of an inch to accommodate the thumb stud, but it looks like I'm gonna be able to force it in just right. I'm gonna press that in, it's gonna be perfect. Now we're just gonna put a tiny bit of thread locker on there. There we go. All right, I did a Google search for a pocket knife wire clip and I like this design here. And that's what we're gonna follow. I have a quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna use that as our form. And then here's our piece of spring wire. What I'm gonna do to find the center is just find the center of balance. Move it over, move it over, there it goes. It finally tips right there. We'll take our Sharpie and mark the middle. Now this is kind of finicky, but we're gonna line up our vice grip needing those pliers here in our drill bit and we're going to bend it all into place now we're just going to push these down at the same time oh man it's spring steel so it's a little hard to work with next i'm going to use a spark plug socket 13 16 to bend in the curve now since the pliers are tapered i need to make sure that the leading edge is lined up with the edge of the socket because we don't want these wires to bend at different lengths now I clipped on another set of vice grips because I don't want to move the position of my forming pliers. Okay, I did about a 45 degree bend. Now we'll bend the loop so that we can fit it onto our pocket when we slip on the knife. Bend one, and then the other. There we go. Now we're going to bend back.
Okay, see, we're getting places. All right, and to bend over the upper screw, we're gonna start our bend right there. That's good. Now we also have to keep in mind how much of a radius we bend into this wire because the plastic handle is gonna be milled out to accommodate the bend. And right now, it looks like if we keep this parallel, it's about 3 eighths of an inch. 0.29. I think we're just gonna use the same quarter inch bit that we used to begin with. Okay, we're trying to make this as square as possible. So I have a parallel clamp. That's looking pretty good. The drill bit is set exactly where I want it to be. And now we're just gonna start bending it over. We just need to make sure we're doing it the right direction, which is that way. Okay, now that we have the initial bends, we can finish it off with the needle nose vice grips. Okay, we're looking good. We just need to trim it down and mill out this handle here. Here we are at my mini mill. I have a sixteenth of an inch end mill in the machine. Looks decent enough. Now I'm using a little diamond file and I'm gonna put in a chamfer at the top so that we can accommodate the curve for the clip. Okay, let's trim this thing down. This part is gonna go into here. <laughs> but not that part. Okay, I'm gonna mark it right there. And then I'll file it into place. Well, here it is. I think it turned out all right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now I can do a one-hand deployment. And now I don't have to dig in my pockets when I need it. And if you're wondering, the spring isn't as strong anymore. It still snaps down like a bear trap, just not as hard. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, you can pick up a solid Marlin spike from my shop. Let me turn this around so you can see what I'm talking about. I keep one right here at my workstation. You can even get a leather sheath for yours. And if you'd like, Jerry can tie a Turk's head knot for you. I'll even send you a sticker.